Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2 here today on the channel. We're back on DEI on the Alexander the Great update. We're back on the Caesar in Gaul campaign as Julius Caesar himself. Here today, we're going to be declaring war upon Massalia and taking the port city for Rome. If you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on, and let me know in the comments where you would like me to expand and conquer for this series. In the last episode, we managed to take Octoduron from the Hell Vethii with Caesar. We managed to destroy the faction and eliminate their king. Before we push further north into the Alps, S Alpine Gaul, and further into Gaul itself, we need to secure our southern provinces. Obviously, we can't obviously occupy sort of the Italian peninsula. There's no factions further down in, in Sicily and, and Corsica. We want to try and eliminate Massalia. Now, the port city is one of the more valuable cities in the campaign map. At the moment, it's making 4,000 per turn. So... It's going to be sort of easier said than done to take the city itself. So we currently have Legion 1 here with Julius Caesar, the proconsul himself. I've tweaked it somewhat. We currently have four units of cavalry. Most of the army is made up with Marian Legionary Cavalry. Uh, Marian First Cohort, Marian Veteran Legionaries, and Marian Legionaries. I have taken out most of the auxiliaries and put them into Mark Antony's army. Still got our siege equipment, and we've also got a baggage train as well. The problem that arose in the last episode was trying to navigate supplies and logistics and resources through the Alps. Now with um, supply pits, grain pits, and these baggage, baggage trains, it's going to be, t be easier to take Gaul. I currently have Mark Antony here himself with Legion 3 with some stronger legionary variant soldiers but mostly made up with sort of volunteer legionaries We've got some gallic auxiliaries here as well alpine levies We've also got some ligurian levies as well we currently have further over here we have uh, secundus uh, julius there looking at our family tree my heir is currently decimus julius brutus and Julius Secundus, and I've actually made the decision for this series to adopt Mark Antony. The main objective for this series is to bring Gaul under Roman rule, destroy the Gaulish tribes, and the three sort of major kings for this series. So we need to take Massalia. It's going to give us a really nice economy. The port city is incredibly important to the south here, and we're going to be able to bring in trade and uh, just further help out Caesar's Gallic expansion. Okay, so looking at Massalia itself, there is quite a large garrison inside of 18. We currently have the Massalian king as well with 20 units. We are fighting a very heavily based hoplite army as well. So trying to break that is going to be difficult and we could potentially be outnumbered as well. But we'll see how we go. So firstly, we want to try and eliminate this army from the field. Three units have come out as a scouting force. To meet Caesar, and we're going to straight up declare upon them. Rome is at war with Massalia. I thought this was meant to be Caesar in Gaul, CMC. Well, we have to take a short little hiatus to fight some Greeks. <laughs> right, let's push you further down to the border here now, and let's also move this force here. Fortunately enough for me, there is an army just outside, so it's not going to force a siege. Trying to push Massalia itself, it's quite a heavily defensive city, and especially with hoplites inside, we are far better off to fight this on the field of battle. So, we currently have... Actually, if I just go auto-resolve, it's going to tell me... Yes, we can we can find out the exact numbers. So, we have 8,035 Romans to 8,085 
Massalians. Looking at their army build, they have a lot of Massalian hoplites, some cavalry there as well. The king's army has a wide host of hoplite variants. They do have some of these oh, Ligurian swordsmen, archers as well, and the garrison itself is mostly made up by Greek militia. All right, let's fight this one on the field of battle here today. Hail Caesar! Glory to Pro Consul Caesar. The Battle of Massalia, 58 BC. So, now that we finish with the Helvetii, we'll knock out the Massalians. Once we get that sort of, what, 2, 3, 4k income buff, we can really sort of push and blitzkrieg north. Massalia, the territory itself, actually borders with my puppet Golic state of the Vacontii, so we're going to have a really nice buffer zone there, and we're also going to be able to, once we take Massalia, put a full edict over the province. But let me know in the comments where you'd like me to expand and conquer. We've got to take out the Swaby, we've got to take out the Nervii, and we've also got to take out the Gauls, of course. Verse Ver Vercingetorix is the number one on the hit list for the Arverni. Bo Gennatus for the Nervii in the Belgae further in the north. We want to try and eliminate him. Along with Aereo Vistus of Vistus of the Swaby as well. We want to try and eliminate the Germanic tribes. So we'll deal with Massalia and then we'll push further north. Depending, let me know in the comments. We could maybe focus on sort of the right sort of hand of Gaul, maybe closer to the River Rhine, maybe just go straight up through the guts, through the center, or potentially push westward to sort of modern day Bordeaux and Toulouse. Let me know in the comments. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle map. Let's get stuck right into the deployment phase. Okay, let's see what we're working with. So looking at the terrain at the moment, they do have a small high ground position here, which is to their advantage. Now we are attacking them at the end of the day. So normally you would think that we have to bring the fight to them. However, we have skirmisher and artillery supremacy. So they're going to try and nullify that as quickly as possible because we can sit back and rain fire and death upon them. So they've got a little bit of an uphill trek for them, which is unfortunate. Mark Antony's coming just from my left hand side here. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So let's make a nice, strong, long, legionary front line, and then we'll try and uh, put everyone else here. So, let's allow the legionaries to hold the flank, while everyone else can hold the center. So what we want to do is, we don't want to be fighting within this shrubbery. We don't want to be fighting in the trees, because it does reduce combat efficiency. Yeah, here we go. Highly, affected at hi highly effective at hiding troops, but slows down movement at 70%. So we want to draw them back here. So what we want to do is make a nice, strong, long front line. And see, we'll try and centralize it a bit. Okay, so then we'll make a quick little classic Simpsy. Senpai, Simpu, <laughs> Noob Box. Right, archers here, artillery as well, especially with the bolt throwers. Uh, we'll probably put you there. Uh, where's the clearing going to be? Because what you want to try and do is put these guys, say, here, say, and then just just drop them back a tad, maybe even this unit here. Because what you want to do is have them about... Yeah, because you can actually surprisingly get a decent number of shots off. And we'll try and leave it something like that. Once the enemy gets incredibly close, we'll quickly just throw them over that front line. Okay, so you guys can essentially go somewhere like here. Flammable shot. And look, you know what? We want to try and pierce through their heavily plated armor. So we're not going to worry about that. My baggage train can sit further at the back. Archers, eh, we'll just sort of sit you here. Right, now let's talk about my cavalry. Now, look, you know what? I'm actually very tempted to allow Caesar to lead from the front. I think 
we can hit this small army here, hit them and hit them hard, just rush in there with all my cavalry. If we can kill a general pretty early on, that will give a massive morale debuff to the enemy while they're still trying to reorganize and get to their position. I, I think we'll allow Caesar to lead from the front, charge in with his very heavy Legatus cavalry, and we'll try and overwhelm this small position here. So what I want to do is essentially, depending on where their reinforcements come through, we'll try and break something up like this. So get everyone here, say, and where's the clear? So what I want to do, so I want to make that a bit better. So what I shall do is allow these guys to essentially push there. They're going to go straight up through the center while Caesar can flank, and we'll try and get some shots off there. So, uh, yeah, let's quickly have a look at the army. Legionaries, veterans on the flanks, guarding. We've got our heavier unit here, of course. Ballista, Cretan archers, and our baggage train here with the supplies and the women and children holding the encampment. Ballista here as well, holding. Ready to go. And then Caesar and his red cavalry legionaries. Equites, keen and ready to go. We're going to hit them, hit them hard for the glory of Caesar. All right. I'm surprised I actually picked him out in that unit there. Sort of sucked him in. Right. Start. Pause. Let's see where they're coming from. Reinforcements. Mark Antony is coming from my left-hand side. Caesar. Let's get ready to go. So, you need to move to a better position here. You need to flank this way and essentially try and soak that up. Let's try. So what is this? A he me melee heavy? Let's try and push and then get that around. We want to try and hit the general foremost. So let's push. Let's go, 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 go. All right. Okay, the general's pulling further this way. Our reinforcements have arrived. That's fine. Alright, try and get around the back. We've got to try and hit their general. So we're already getting a small bombardment off. I might actually quickly pause that because that... that sh Yeah, I shouldn't have that at firing at will for now. And we'll allow... What does grab Mark Anthony's forces? Where are they automatically going to? I, I couldn't see. Oh, well, no matter. Okay, you can sort of sit this way. You peel around this. It does look like the general's actually pushing further back. While these guys are coming in here. So try and peel this way. You try and push for this. Try and bait and fold. Our general's under attack. That's obviously Caesar, and that is fine. Try and hit these guys side on here. You push further and higher up here. We might even be able to catch some of them. So we want to try and go for the general first, and try and quickly eliminate him. Allow these guys here to hold. So their general is pushing further back. And they might have been caught here in the mountain pass. Continue to try and skirmish out these very heavy. So we've caught some here, and we've actually caught some here as well. Caesar's caught them. Alrighty, so let's try and hold and pin them here. Continue to push. Alrighty, cool. So now that that's pushing in, we need to get Mark Antony in here. So just go here. We'll reform this up ideally and perfectly where we can. But I want to try and get some cinematic shots here if we can. So we've got some skirmishes here doing quite well. Just peppering and sitting there fine. So we've got Caesar and the cavalry actually hitting the mounted hoplites here. And that other cavalry that seems to be pushing further back. We don't want to be pushing too far down into the corridor there. So they can push for this. Continue to skirmish and hit that where you can. Now, I don't want to be too long in this, because we're going to need to pull back there. We could very well try and hit this from the side and behind. If we can get away from those hoplites somewhat. Like, you're continuing to hit this. They've run out of ammunition. Hit that from the back there. Maybe you try and come into this. They're sitting lightly footed. Just charge into the back of them. We don't want to stay too long into a melee offensive. Alright, let's pull people out where we can. Continue to try and hit this where you can as well. Let's pull out there. Let's pull out here. The men are wavering. The men are wavering. Really? I thought these legionaries would do alright fighting in here. You'd think so. Especially with Caesar at the helm. 
potentially we need an Inspire and a Rally to drop that down and through. Okay, the enemy reinforcements are quiet here now, so we're going to have to pull out of this. So, I thought this little offensive attack would work well. But maybe I was too competent on the ability of my cavalry. Come on, push out of here, please. I've given the order now. You need to be pulling out of here big time. Because you're just going to get caught otherwise. Oh, well. That's a shame, but no matter. Mark Antony is here now. We've had a quick little skirmish. Trying to knock out their general. 40 there. 30 on them and their cavalry's further back. Come on, push now. Push further back here, please. Let's make sure we get out of this. Alive. Okay, well, now that Mark Antony's here, it does bring a whole new sort of layer to the offensive. So, what can we do? So, we've got a couple of options here as well. We can actually further extend the battle lines, and we also can maybe and attach an additional sort of front line there over the top. So for now what I'll do is I'll just pull back my cavalry to a secure position along with these guys here as well. Okay, so you know what? There's probably not a bad idea putting the weaker guys further at the front and allowing my artillery to sort of hit them, but I kind of want the legionaries to do most of the work. Little bit of a dilemma. No, what, what we'll do is we'll just make a secondary secure line like here. And we'll just essentially try and put the other spearmen on the flanks to protect where we can. Let's send this another additional baggage train and we'll get like Mark Antony to hold the right while... Caesar can sort of hold the left here and we'll reform with that. Okay, so what I'm going to allow to do now is allow my artillery pieces to be on fire at will. And I want you to try and bombard this if you can. So we're retreating here now. I thought I was able to route those weaker hoplite units quickly and effectively. But no matter, Mark Antony is here and we're reforming our positions. Okay, so unfortunately that's not in range, so we're going to have to pull them back and reform that, that's fine. You never know, these skirmishes might be able to come back in here. 84. Man, that baggage train's going to get caught there, unfortunately. We're going to have to double back with this. We've just managed to scare them off here. I'm quite... Yeah, they are incredibly slow there. Alright, form back here now. That's slightly protected. That quick rehash of a formation didn't work well. And these guys... The Ligurian levies are going to move into this additional position. Okay, and Mark Antony, yeah, he didn't really have too many cavalry units anyway. So let's try and form them there. Okay, and then probably go to like, oh, we'll leave that there. Oh, so they are trying to move in a missile unit. It's met by. Incredible volleys of Peeler. Okay, my Ballista actually nearly is in range. Yeah, so it should be getting some shots off here, especially through these guys through the cor corridor. Right, artillery needs to be probably piercing this as well. Now, if you press insert on your com keyboard, you can actually control the Ballista movement. And in DEI, it's actually quite worthwhile. As you see there, I probably took out... Three, four units in a volley, and the reload is a little bit ridiculous in this. So, especially now, we want to try and pierce and focus as quickly as we can. So, try and get these shots off. Come on, we might even be able to route it. I might have bit a little bit off more than what I could chew here, because really, I should be bringing my other unit, but we might be able to... We might be able to route that. Just because the amount of damage we're doing already. Right, I'm going to have to quickly pause that because even though we've smashed 100, just due to the close proximity, we're going to have to reform that. Oh, it's a bit of a shame that, obviously, just the limitations of the engine, you can't, you only can do so much. So, 
Uh, obviously, a real Roman commander would have given out all these orders beforehand, but we have to do them live, obviously. And, and some people get pissed off about me pausing. Look, I really don't care, to be honest. But, like, something like that would be a, a proper order. Right, okay, well, okay, uh, what's happening over here? Oh, they got pushed by Greek Heavy Cav. Wow, okay. And these guys are trying to get pushed as well. So make sure that gets pushed back. Move them further up. Protect the ballista. Perfect. Okay, so I'm surprised that got hit there. These guys can hold just fine. And now... Oh, why have they gone and done that? Didn't I reform you further back? Yeah, bugger. Oh, well, no matter. Anyway, that Masali and Pike unit's been incredibly depleted there. Alright, still holding this where we can. And everyone else seems to be doing alright, so that's good. Alrighty, let's work our way down the line. So my right flank seems to be holding quite well against the hoplites. They're trying to push in on my right flank. Okay, so my blister were able to retreat back, which is good. And we're getting some nice peppering shots against their hoplites. And they're trying to push us through here as well, throwing in cavalry and stuff. Okay. Well, basically what we want to do is sit back, relax, and try and wither the storm where we can. Alrighty, let's try and slow things down a bit here now. So, we probably should just try and surround and, and route that there. Did that ballista actually manage to get back? Yeah. So what I want you to do is try and bombard this. Alright, Mark Anthony here uh, can push further here as well and drop a rally and an inspire for these troops. Caesar can sit here as well and hold the front line. Okay, everyone else seems to be holding quite well. I might need to actually reinforce this position somewhat as it has been pinned slightly. Now, fortunately enough for me here, this position hasn't been compromised. So what we can probably do is slowly work our way up here and try and frazzle some of this. Alright, so these guys are out of ammunition, unfortunately. So these can go further back to the main line. And everyone else can continue to hold here for now. So when we're still holding here, there was a pretty decisive push to go here. So what I'll do is I'll try and reform one of our large units. They've actually broken through there slightly. We might need to let Caesar push for that. Alright. Now, this line probably should increase to about here to protect our men. Okay, my flanks have actually fallen, which is interesting. I know they are weaker, trashier troops, but I thought they would have done alright to at least hold semi well. No, those spearmen have been massively enveloped. Oh, well, so it looks like these guys have to quickly move here, otherwise we're going to get flanked massively. Seems to be doing alright here. I think there was just more of a decisive effort there. So maybe try and... How many? How much sort of cavalry is in around here? Not too much. So we'll try and break that down the line. Look, I don't want to lose this, so we're going to have to bring Mark Antony and Caesar into the conflict. So let's move you here. Mark Antony's holding quite well there. And we've got baggage train stuff there. So maybe swinging Mark Antony here and around because the Ligurian levies have broken there. But the Roman center, as you would imagine, would still hold. So, form here. Allow Mark Antony to rally up with some cavalry divisions. How are these hammer and anvil tactics going over here? We haven't deployed too many. So try and go for this. And we'll try and get around it. Cavalry needs to be running down some of these lighter archers. And sort of not allowing them to hit us with impunity. So we can go for a charge down this main line. Mm. 
presence and expire. So we'll allow Caesar to push into the back of the Massalians here. Everyone seems to be holding relatively well. Yeah, so they are not doing very well. Even in a sort of a skirmish offensive there. Which is a bit of a shame. Oh, well, let's reform that and move them further back. All right, you push into the back of this. And then we'll try and get our cavalry this way. So we're still holding here for now. It's slightly, supposedly, not in our favor. I'm not entirely sure about that. Okay, Mark Antony's charging seems to be working within our right flank. And they're still holding there, which is good. Okay. They're now pushing up here. Oh, some unit seems to be giving Caesar a little bit of trouble there. Okay, you pull here, right? So they're going to pull further back. Okay, let's allow another strike with Mar Mark Antony then. Probably higher up. Look, you know what? Sod this right flank off. We need to get rid of these archers probably here more. You go here. Swing around on the archers. Alright, and now allow Caesar to go into this. We've got Caesar doing hammer and anvil tactics further there. Look, we might just need a little bit of Roman aggression here. We've been quite passive. They've accepted the orders to hold. Maybe we just really need to sort of go for it here now. Because already, yeah, look at this. This is perfect. There seems to be opening up now positions. Men! Sally Force! Vina Vina Viki! Alright, now let's try and pull out of this position because we've got men sitting idly by here that can be cycle charging. Yes, there we go! We're doing it, lads! Roma Invicta! Man, oh man, so when you live and learn, they did a really interesting tactic. They focused incredible. Oh, the enemy general is dead. Oh, thanks, Mark Strong. Okay. Massaliots, dirty Greeks. <laughs> uh, right. And they're holding there as well. Good. So, how much have we got sort of left to. Oh, okay, right. So, that's a little bit interesting. Right. Right, you go for this. Swing around, please. Cycle charge. Yeah, don't let the skirmishes just sort of pin you back like that. No one wants that. Alright. And swing around there, please. Come back here centrally here now. So where's Caesar? Good, because I can't afford for Mark Antony and Caesar to die this early on. Especially against bloody Greeks. Alright, so that center's breaking there. Good, go for this, you go for that. Continue to run that down. Alright. Let's go for these guys there. Where is Mark Anthony as well? Oh, he's got his sort of lighter colored variant unit there. Mark Anthony controlling the right flank is going to break down some of these guys. Look at that. That's what we're talking about. Whew. A 16,000 man battle in episode 2. Just due to the added difficulty of supply lanes in DUI, I think that's what went and did it. We weren't able to push against Massalia for 7 6 turns or so than you normally would in the base campaign. And the other enemy generals fallen. Perfect. Because realistically, you probably could actually rush them incredibly early on. Good, we've got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Alright, let's try and run down the remaining stragglers where we can. We've eliminated the king's full stack inside. And... Now we've wiped the garrison as well. Phew! Victory for Rome. <laughs> A small pocket here. A fighting to the death. 
Hoplites, Romans, to a man. Man, oh man. It was crucial. The Senate in Rome cried out for it. We must take Massalia. And we have victory. A close one at that. Yeah, I'm curious to have a look. 8,035 deployed. We lost 2,793. The Massalians deployed 8,000 and lost 7,400 on the field of battle. Wowee, that was a hell of a fight. Numerically very close. I would have liked to have more archers in my build. They did have... We only had like one or two skirmishes to their eight. Armor-piercing rounds definitely went through us. Like a hot knife through butter. Caesar got 400 kills in his legion. The cavalry nearly got 400 each, respectively. The main line held well. 4,020. Uh, 4, 420. Uh, what else have we got here? 200 or so with a couple of legionaries. Archers, 263. Yeah, look, look. One unit of archers nearly did as well as a unit of legionaries who lost half their health. Hell of a fight. I'm happy that we had to fight them on the field of battle. Scorpions, 142. Wow, yeah, like I said, they're incredibly invaluable if you basically get control of it, press, it, press insert on your keyboard and manually control it. You can basically use it like one of those Shogun 2 Gatling guns <laughs> from the Boshin War. Okay, guys, welcome to the campaign map. Caesar has taken Massalia. All right, and we did lose one unit of legionary veterans. Oh, that's a shame, and one unit of um, sort of lighter spears, which is a shame. Oh, well, no matter. We've managed to decimate most of the army, though. So we've got a couple of options here. Wow, we can kill, enslave, ransom. We shall kill the captives. Increased in rank, Gaius Julius Caesar. And we're probably not going to need to push a siege here. So we'll, we'll allow Massalia to be technically taken. Um, oh, I think we might lose a lot of units there. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly move Caesar out of the phase, I think. Because DEI is notorious for wiping your units like this. So what we'll do, we'll technically allow Mark Antony to take the city, obviously in the siege of uh, the siege against Ver, Ver, um, Vercingetorix and the Arverni. Mark Antony was one of the notable commanders of the battle and that's why he uh, sort of was close to Caesar. So what we want to try and do in turn is uh, allow him to, I don't know, in our campaign have exploits further in the south. But unfortunately, on that note, it's time to end it here. If you want to see more Roman Caesar and Gaul episodes, just support the series, and I'll do more. We've taken Massalia here now, and we've, um, we have, yeah, because we can't actually go down in Spain, we have secured the entirety of our southern border. Further to the north, we still have the Facontii here now. But now with Massalia, we're getting a guaranteed 2,100 per turn, and we've increased our income by 2,800. So we're going to repair, replenish, and then push north. So we've got a couple of options. Of course, we could potentially push against these guys, the um, Averni. We definitely want to try and hit them and Vercingetorix at some point, maybe pushing further in Narbo, trying to occupy that. But let me know in the comments, should I go sort of eastward, straight through the center, westward? Oh, the Swaby. We've encountered them close to the River Rhine. All right. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments.
Patreon and merchandise link in the description below, along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simsy. Goodbye.